Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. I'm here to do some more articles for you all. If you want me, if you want to know what articles I'm reading, you want to know what page I'm reading the articles off of, it's called ourblackgirls.com, okay? Um, I will be trying, I will be breaking the codes when I see some, and I will see where their bodies are located, or if they have been found, or if they did, or if they still not found, or if they deceased or alive. So we'll be talking about Kim Williams, 37, vanished after violent arguments with men she feared. She did tell me it was Mob James that she feared. This is how she looked. I will be putting her picture in the video. Investigators reportedly believe that they have some sense of what may have happened to Kim Williams. However, all these decades later, they still don't know where the 37-year-old California woman is. She said she don't know right now. The last moment Kim was seen was laced with a mommy's axe as she reportedly spent time with a man named Michael Greg Green. She said he said he she said he told her he was God. Mom James did. It was on June the 20th, 1995, when Kim and Green were together in an apartment in Las Mesa, California, a city situated in San Diego County. Now, remember I told you, she said he didn't even give a fuck about killing my first daughter, Jill, like that. Because as soon as April 17th, 2000, as soon as April 17th, 1995, he went, they went back on, on a killing spree. According to reports, a witness told authorities that they heard Kim Williams and Green engage in explosive arguments in his apartment. She had previously expressed concerns for her safety. She said he was a stalker. Telling people that Green was a violent man and she feared for her life. Fool, she said. The fight became so disturbing that the witness called the police for help, but the officers were proved to be too late. It is unclear how long it took for authorities to arrive at the scene, but once they were there, they didn't find Kim or Green. She said she didn't leave the house or the home, okay? She said she disappeared, she vanished. They would disappear to me, vanished, okay? It was told to investigators that Green left his residence in his van with Kim in the passenger seat sitting upright after they disappeared from the home. So they didn't walk out. They just disappeared and they got in the van. A witness stated that Kim seemed to be strategically positioning the van because she was not moving and reportedly did not seem to be alert. She said he knocked her out. Green never returned to the residence to receive any of his belongings. She said his belongings is, belongings is still there, though. And that was the last time anyone saw Kim Williams. Green, however, would resurface when he was arrested in connection with the stabbing of another woman, my daughter. He was reportedly tried for the attempted murder of that woman and the murder of Kim Williams. Despite there being no evidence to show that Green killed Kim, he was reportedly convinced of both crimes and, sent and sentenced to 131 years in prison. The search continues as Kim remains a missing person. She saying true. She also saying shake the vans or shake any houses that got his name or his allies in it. Allies in it. His allies, okay? At the time of her disappearance, Kim Williams stood 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighed 120 pounds. She had black, dark brown hair and brown eyes. She was last seen wearing blue Levi jeans and a purple t-shirt. Her middle name is Teresa. Kim would be 63 years old at the time of his of this publication. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the La Mesa Police Department at 619-667-7542 or their local authorities. The agency case number is 95-04411. Please share this story about Kim Williams to help bring her home. She is our sister and her life matters. Um, like I said, if y'all want to help with this case, y'all can call the numbers, call, contact me. Um, I don't do it for the fame. I do because it's what I love to do. I'm not asking for no money. I just want y'all to listen to their stories. Okay, hope y'all enjoy. I'm out. Peace.